Welcome back, ladies and gents. On today's show, we've got a Rolls Royce with a secret, a recall for a recall, and a reborn defender. Plus, we're talking about the amazing and hilarious Concord de Lemons. I'm Tiffany Stone, and this is Haggerty's Daily Driver. Let's buckle up. First up, ever wish your luxury car was more mysterious? No? Well, apparently that's something people want. So Rolls-Royce created this, the Wraith Cryptos. It's, you know, just, just watch this video. Since the dawn of time, humans have harnessed the power of cryptography. cryptography. I'm a little confused too, but I'll do my best to explain. At first glance, it looks like the Wraith with some special paint and some interior designs that are very interesting, but it's so much more than that. According to Rolls-Royce, these design elements actually make up a cipher or a code which you can solve. Some of the clues can only be seen in the sunlight and then some can only be seen in the darkness. Now think National Treasure 2 meets Bitcoin with a dash of oligarch. That explains the styling, but what about the whispers? Did you hear them? Let's play that again. This only in the shadows. When Crypto's owners think they've solved the puzzle, they submit their answers to an app. You guessed it, it's called Whispers. Now, only 50 of these puzzles will be made, so grab your Turing machine and head to the nearest Rolls Royce dealer. Moving on. Harbor Freight is back in the news and not for a crazy sale. They're once again recalling Pittsburgh brand jack stands. So back in May, Harbor Freight recalled 1.7 million jack stands after discovering a manufacturing defect that could cause them to collapse under heavy loads. Now this wouldn't be an issue except a jack stand's entire job is to hold heavy things up so they don't fall on you. But yesterday, they announced that some of the replacement three-ton stands could have a welding defect, and now those need to be returned. Seriously, if you own any of these jack stands included in either recall, stop using them immediately and bring them to a local Harbor Freight for a full cash refund. We put the SKU codes in the description below. And finally, what do you do when your favorite car is no longer in production? Well. If you're Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the founder of a giant petrochemical company, you decide to produce a car that looks just like the old one. This is the Ineos Grenadier. And yes, it does look like a Land Rover Defender. Sir Ratcliffe was a fan of the classic 4x4, and when Land Rover stopped production, he saw a hole in the market. So, he designed his own utilitarian adventure machine. It looks like a classic Land Rover after a trip to the tactical salon, but in fact, it's engineered from the ground up. Now, to help the Grenadier go anywhere, it will have solid axles, beefy suspension, and a stout BMW engine. Ineos wants to build 25,000 Grenadiers per year and sell them at $50,000 a pop. Now, it could work. It looks cool and people are losing their minds for retro off-roaders. Would you buy an old truck from a new company? Let us know in the comments. Coming up, some car events are canceled, but we're keeping the silliest show alive by hosting the first ever virtual Concorde de Lemons. The show has become famous for hosting some of the weirdest cars in all of Monterey Car Week, and trust me, it lives up to its reputation. But first. Next time you're late for work, it's worth remembering that nothing, that nothing, gets in the way of a Land Rover. Each year, Monterey, California hosts the Concours d'Elegance, a show where only the fanciest cars can attend. There are dapper hats and cars worth more than Maine's GDP. Down the road from the event is Concorde de Lemons, where they celebrate odd cars, boring cars, or even plain bad cars. Car Week is canceled this year, but the Concorde de Lemons is still happening online. At the Elegance, they give out trophies for categories like most elegant closed car and most elegant convertible, 
which is not to be confused with most elegant open car. The Lemon Show has 13 slightly more specific classes, such as the needlessly complex Italian class, the communist cars class, and the Rust Belt American junk Mopar class. Do you know what this is? This is a 1981 Plymouth Horizon electric vehicle. Plymouth sold them like that, or at least tried to, but they only made 70 of them. At the Concord de Lemons, there's something for everyone, and that's what makes it great. And now you can join in. Haggerty is accepting submissions until July 20th. So if you have a car you think that fits in any of these categories, send over the pictures or videos to community.haggerty.com or click the link below. With a bit of luck and hard work, your car could be the best piece of junk out there. That's all for today, and I'm out tomorrow heading to the first short course race of the season. But filling in for me will be our very own Maddie Zavala. Until then, keep driving.